losing weight has always been a struggle for me especially now that I'm older that I'm a grandma I was always doing diets that never worked or worked for like a week and then I gained the weight back and it wasn't until 2020 where I set the intention of resolution that I was going to lose weight that was my plan so I did a lot of research and one of those research I found intermittent fasting and the keto diet I was very eh about the keto diet because you have to eat a lot of high fat and vegetables and low carbs little to, to nothing and one I'm not a fan of a lot of meat and I'm also not a fan of like weird vegetables I'm very picky so I knew it was gonna be complicated but not impossible but I brushed it off and I said okay maybe the intermittent fasting will be the best fit for me so I started doing that and it didn't work and after I sat down and I analyzed what I was doing wrong it was that yes I was fasting for a long period of time but it was but when it was my time to actually eat I would eat all the bad foods like I would break my fast with something sweet or with something very bad and it was I didn't do my homework on that area so I stopped and I went to my regular self but I wanted to lose weight like I wasn't happy with my body especially after having a baby and I just wanted to go back to how I looked a few years ago I was like okay let's do it again girl so mid 2020 I went back to my intermittent fasting where I would start fasting at 8 p.m. and I wouldn't eat until the next day at noon but key here within those eight hours um time frame I would drink a lot of water I only had two meals which was my breakfast slash lunch and um my dinner and the, the part where I break my fast I didn't break it with something like super like high in sweets or in carbs because then it wasn't helping like I would eat more of my calorie deficit within those two hours and that's not the goal the goal is to stay within my calorie deficit and that's what I did along with that I, I found out about Chloe Tang and I started doing her workouts and I believe I started with a two-week shred challenge which I will leave it around here so you guys know what I'm talking about and that really helped me out I drank a lot of water that's when I started drinking about a gallon a day so after combining intermittent fasting along with Chloe Ting's workouts I started seeing results after a while and not necessarily on the scale but my clothes fit better my measurements were going lower and I was very happy then I felt like I needed a little a little push a little a little slight more and that's when I committed to the keto diet I was scared because I thought I was gonna be starving because I'm a picky eater but I did my research thoroughly and I found great um, recipes on Pinterest a lot of substitutes for things that I like which came in clutch if you're not on Pinterest I don't know what you're waiting for but anyway so I I started doing keto and I kid you not, I went crazy. I felt like a junkie when they're withdrawal because I needed carbs. Like, I'm Hispanic. I love the rice. I, I love the pasta. I love the all those things high in carbs, high in sugar. Love them all. I could have them every day. Like, literally, I can eat, like, rice every day. And I know you can eat. A little bit the serving size the serving portion 
which is zero to nothing but I need to have at least one or more cups of rice or else I won't be satisfied but that's who I am which is why I needed the keto diet to keep me focused on not overeating carbs because I know me and it was super great I pretty much replaced certain things for example I love the rice as much as saddle I didn't like it slash it wasn't the same I was substituted for um, cauliflower rice and you know in my head I made the illusion that I was eating rice but you know it was healthy and I was eating great and that made me lose so much weight so I was at this point I'm doing keto I'm doing intermittent fasting and I'm working out and I'm staying hydrated dude I lost I want to say within the first month month and a half about 13 pounds I was shocked when I went to my grandparents it's like dude I saw you not so long ago like what did you do and that's exactly what I did but after I got to that point where I lost those 13 pounds I hit a plateau where it's like you you're doing the same thing all day every day but then it's like your body is like adjusted to the workouts and the food and the and, and the diet the healthy eating and you're just there you don't go up you don't go down and I was frustrated because yes I lost 13 pounds yes I am happy but I'm still not at my goal weight which is crazy I know I, I did great like I, I was on, on the regiment but like I stopped doing it and I'm still there and now that is 2021 we're moving our bodies working out I am experiment experimenting and see what I can do differently to keep losing weight and get to my goal if that makes sense so yeah guys just pretty much eat healthy and move your body that's pretty much what worked for me and also the fasting works for my body because I've noticed that my body um, needs that time to digest the food so that's what's been working for me and I try not to eat unhealthy things even though I do don't get me wrong I'm not the healthiest person I do have my pizza I do have my 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 sweets but I try a something very very big is portions I love big portions I never go by the portion um, requirement size whatever but it's something that I'm working on because I have a goal I want to reach so yeah guys if you want me to loop you in and to this weight loss journey and share more of that of that with you let me know in the link down below is that a goal that you have whether it's gaining or losing hello there's people out there who want to gain weight it's not just losing but let me know maybe we can motivate each other help each other out so yeah thank you for watching this video i'll see you on the next one I love you, love you all so much. Bye.